The Interstate 64 bridge across the Kanawha River in downtown Charleston, West Virginia, also known as the Oakwood Bridge, has the distinction of being one of the most accident-prone locations in the state. The road makes a sharp 90 degree turn across the bridge just as the ramps for the Oakwood Road interchange merge onto the highway. The combination of the sharp curve, high interstate speeds, and an element of surprise come together to create a concentrated area of risk on the curve for motorists. Slick conditions caused by rain further increase the chances of an accident on the bridge, but nothing creates a higher probability of accidents than snow and ice during the winter months. It is a well-known fact that bridges and overpasses are the first roads to become icy during winter precipitation. The cold air surrounding all sides of the bridge cools the road surface much faster than pavement on solid ground. When bridges become icy, they take drivers by surprise who are traveling at full speed on otherwise clear roads. Multiple crashes on the Oakwood Bridge in Charleston are a near certainty during even the lightest of snowfall events. Wintertime crashes on the bridge will be significantly reduced by the installation of a de-icing system. The de-icing equipment would only need to be installed on the curved section of the bridge and only on the eastbound lanes of the highway, as this is the site of the majority of crashes on the bridge. Eastbound drivers approaching the curve at highway speeds cannot see the hazard of the iced over bridge deck until it is too late to slow down. This is due to the crest of a small hill and the sharpness of the curve that begins prior to the start of the bridge deck. By contrast, westbound drivers have encountered the icy bridge deck long before reaching the sharp curve and have sufficient warning time to slow down to a safe speed. Similar curved bridge decks exist in West Virginia, including the I-64 bridge near Dunbar and the bridges on West Virginia Turnpike at Cabin Creek. De-icing equipment installed at select high-risk locations on these and other bridge sites would significantly reduce the incidence of accidents and the resulting injury and damage.